This is going to be a quick getting started with video scribe tutorial. I'll start by going over the icons up here. This icon allows you to add an image. This one is for text, music, and then a voiceover. You can also choose the paper type for your background. Maybe you want something like this. Um, why don't we start by adding some text? So, getting started with video scribe. And then you choose your font here by clicking the F. So you put that in and move it anywhere on your canvas that you want. You can resize by just clicking the corner and scooting it in and out. And so now by default, this is going to handwrite that text. Let me press the play button, which is over here, to preview my project so far. So that's a little bit slow for my liking. So go ahead and click on that text that we want to edit the properties of. Hit this button right here to edit the properties, and you'll see the animation, which is how long it takes to draw this in, and it's currently taking 7.5 seconds, and I want that to happen much faster, so maybe I'll change that to 2 seconds. Obviously, there are a whole lot of other customization options here, and I'll explain a couple of other things later, but that's good for now. So let's take another preview of our project to this point. So just click here. Now let's go ahead and add another element to our canvas. We can resume and move things around using these buttons over here. So the plus and minus icons will zoom you in and out. And then this button here is zoom to fit. You can use these arrow buttons to move around on the canvas, but I just prefer clicking anywhere in the background and dragging around to recenter my canvas. Now let's go ahead and add in some more text. Here is my first talking point, and then hit the check mark. Now here's a little shortcut here. See that this was taking 3.5 seconds to draw? I can just hit the plus and minus buttons to change the drawing time, and I'm going to speed things up just a little bit. Okay, happy with that. Now let's add in an image. So you hit this button here, and you can add images from the library. This button takes you to the Video Scribe library. You can also add in images from your desktop or the internet, and any image that you add in can be hand-drawn, and that's such a cool feature of this program that I really love. So go ahead and give it a try. Um, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the smile face. And then I'm going to move it here and resize my canvas like this. And so now you can see that when I go to draw this, when the smile face draws, it zooms in on just that element. By default, the zoom goes to whatever animation is being drawn at that moment. But when the smile face is being drawn, I personally want to customize my zoom so that you can see the text too. So to do that, I'm first going to resize my canvas to what I want it to look like when that smile face is being drawn. Okay, so that's good. And then I click on the smile face because I want to customize the zoom to when that smile face is being drawn in. That's really important. You click the element that you are trying to customize the zoom for. And then you go over to this button here, which is setting the camera's view. And so now you can see, let me go ahead and preview this animation. Perfect. That's exactly what I was going for. So again, it's really important that you click on the element that you're trying to customize the zoom for. Go ahead and play with the canvas to get it perfect. And then click that icon over here, which is to set the camera's view. Now, say that I want to edit, here is my first talking point, uh, say that I want to change the text that I had written. You can't just double click to change the text. The easiest thing to do is to just click on the properties here and then click on that little text symbol and here's where you can edit. And you can change the color here too if you want and then you hit the check mark and there it goes. Let's add one more image here. Let's go ahead and add this dog over here. 
But say that you don't want it to hand draw the dog. Say that you just want it to move in kind of like a PowerPoint. What you can do is click on the image down here and go to the properties. Say I want it to move in from the top left. And then I can even arc that animation by pressing here. Change how long it takes to come in. So five seconds to come in for now. And now let's see what our scribe looks like. The first thing that I notice is that the dog and the smile face come in the wrong order. So I can change that by simply dragging the smile face in front of the dog and they are reordered correctly now. And then I don't really like the hand that's moving in, this dog. I want to turn that hand off personally. Oh, and it took too long to move in too. So let me just quickly change that animation time right here. And now let me deal with getting rid of that hand that moved the dog in. So what I do is click on the dog and go to its properties. And then I can click on the hand right here and I can choose no hand. If I just click on the no hand and hit the check mark, hit the check mark again, and that will fix the animation to just move in with no hand at all. Now, if I press this play button right here, it will simply play the dog animation. But if I click the play button over here, it will play my whole project to this point. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. Let's just rewatch the dog comes in in the right order. Here we go. And things I can do now are add in a background music. So just click the icon right here and you can scroll through the music library they have. You can choose um, this check mark to loop it. Say you have a really long scribe and you don't want the music to cut off, you can loop it. And you can also upload your own soundtrack by uploading your music. I'm just going to choose this one randomly. Okay, so now let's save that. And you'll see that my music icon is colored because I have background music in my project now. And so finally, um, we can record a voiceover. And you can use this icon right here to do that. And the voiceover is probably something you are going to want to use for your lesson. And I just click on that button. I press the record. And I want to check this show scribe and record so that I can time things accurately. Um, you want to match up the voiceover with the scribe that is being drawn. So let me hit that record button. Getting started with video scribe. See, I paused at the beginning. Here is my first talking point, which I edited. I'm really happy today, so I thought that was an appropriate image. And I really love dogs. I hope you enjoyed my video scribe. Hit the check mark when you're done, and then it will process and add that right in. So that's really, really easy and nice. And when I'm done with my whole project, of course, I'm going to preview the whole project first. If I messed up my voiceover or something, I can just click on it and delete my recording and then re-record. Um, and then finally, you just press this button right here, and you can just share directly to YouTube, which is probably the easiest way to share. And that's it for this Getting Started with Video Scribe tutorial.